I'd say I've had some seriously cracking nights in my time, but being invited round here to watch you do this. Oh, so annoying. It's not here either. Right, so drop the treasure hunt and let's have some peace. It doesn't need Sherlock to tell you it's been nicked. What, when there's no sign of a break-in? Well, it'll teach you to leave the door off the latch. Well, the telly's still here and nothing else is missing. I'll be someone who knew about the cash. Well, apart from me, there's only Adam and he definitely didn't take it. Ah. He did say that Robbie came round. We don't think it was him. He was in the pub earlier looking for the money. What was he saying? That Debbie wasn't happy and she wants paying for the 4 by 4 Wait till I get my hands on him. Well, there's no point in beating him senseless. That won't solve anything. Well, it'll make me feel a lot better. Well, not if Debbie's the one that's behind She'll it. She'll have sent him, won't she? Then why don't you talk to your daughter first? And why didn't you just tell me it was a problem in the first place? It wasn't. I'll get your money. If she's had someone come into my home and steal from me... Let's just say she's not herself at the moment. I'm not being funny, Kane, but this has seriously crossed a line. Believe me, I will be having words. Good. Because if you don't, I definitely will. Uh, I know I'm going to hate myself for asking this, but what are you doing? I thought maybe the money you lost fell back here. But no, sorry. <clears throat> Oh, well, don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up sooner or later. Hey, you see that yesterday? Oh, yeah, well, things change. Well, great. Wasting my time. Nice one. Thanks, though. Thanks for not telling him. What, and having Adam have a go at Debbie or Robbie, that's really gonna help. Look, I've said I'll talk to her. I'll get your money. Oh, that's okay, then. The fact that she sent Robbie round here to steal from me is no problem at all. She's lucky I don't call the police. Well, I've covered for your kids, remember? Or doesn't Adam trying to kill me count? You know, this is exactly what she wants. Us at each other's throats. Right, so don't let her wind you up. This is my home. She had no right. I've said I'll deal with it, so let me. Hey, you. Hey. Take it your day's gone as good as mine. Oh, I've had better. Hmm. It didn't help me having a go at you this morning. I'm sorry, it's just the thought of someone in my house. So. Look at this. Oh, she's admitted to it then. Uh, not really. She reckons Robert did it off his own back. And you believe her? Unless you told him to or not, he did it for her. She's got him wrapped around her little finger. So this isn't from her then? She's my kid. My responsibility. Yeah, but you can't keep covering for her like this. Yeah, but it's not just about her, is it? She thinks that you're responsible for me talking to Chas. <sighs> All right, why doesn't that surprise me? Well, I'll just have to put her right then. No, don't. It's her to think about. She's been through enough as it is. Yeah, and Debbie knows that. She is using you as much as she's using Robbie. You don't know the stunts she's pulled. If I don't look out for her, who will? Uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Do you know he's got a point? It's all I ever wanted at his age. How is it possible that he is 21? It only seems like yesterday he was a baby. So, come on, what about my present? Not now, I'm doing this. No, can't resist you when you're so happy. No, seriously, I'm not in the mood. What do you mean you're not in the mood? You're always in the mood. Yeah, well, I'm not now, I'm tired. It's been a long day. Why don't you go and watch the footy? I tell you what, this bacon is so fresh, it's practically snorting. Come on, sit yourself down. Um, you mind if I pass? <laughs> this is me, with a frying pan. Come on. No, thanks. Sit down. So what are you going to do? Force feed me? Yeah. Well, if I have to. Come here. Uh, look, um, I've got to get to the shops. Well, what for? A uh, small matter for 21st to sort. I'll see you later. 
What have you done? Tell me. My darling daughter was selling him some dodgy knockoff booze. Till I put a stop to it. Now he's got his knickers in a twist, but I'll get over it. Thank you. Oh. What is wrong with you, eh? Dean. I wanted to spend some time alone. Yeah, you always do these days. <sighs> Fine. I want to know what's going on. Nothing. I can't tell you. I'm sick of this. You go on at me about not telling you stuff, about how we need to be more honest and, 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 and truthful with each other, but it's all one-sided, isn't it? Fine, I get the message. I'm pregnant. Don't even think about asking. What? It's yours. I wasn't going to. So what happens now? I don't know. I haven't had a chance to think about it. You've had more than me. How far gone are you? Five weeks. Maybe six. So that's why you've been offering me. I only realised today. For definite. I've been wondering for a few days. All right. We're done. Get rid of him. Just sort the paper out. Sorry, we can do this tomorrow if you want. No, no, now's a good time. Not a good time for you, is it? Come on, I've still got a business to run. I should have told him to go. Yeah, but it's me you wanted rid of, innit? Well, I just needed some space to get my head round to figure out what I'm going to do. I mean, surely you can understand that. It is a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am part of it. Well, obviously, to a point. I'm the dad. Do, do I not get a say? What, in which clinic I go to? What? Well, that's what you want, isn't it? How would you know? You haven't even asked me. You've told me you're pregnant and then you shut me out. I'm not trying to. Well, it sounds to me like you made some pretty big decisions without me. Hang on. Are you saying you want to keep it? I don't know. Next week, I'll be 42. Which means, by the time it's Adam's age, I'll be 63. That's no age these days. It is if you spent most of your life bringing them up. At least you've had chance. We haven't even been together that long. Now we're getting there. What? You think I'm going to do a bunk, don't you? Thing would I leave you to cope on your own? No. Then why say it? Because I, I just want us to be able to enjoy ourselves, not worry about being parents. I mean, have you really thought about it? About what Debbie thinks? It's nothing to do with her. Well, it affects her. And Sarah and Jack. Yeah, all right, I get it. It's not going to be easy. But it's different for you. I've never been a proper dad. Didn't even know Debbie existed till she was 13. Having another baby's not going to solve anything. I've messed up with her. No, you haven't. Where she's going, I have. This is my chance to get it right. Probably my last chance. <sighs> He's gone back off. I know you're worried. 
But we make a good team. It's not enough. If this happened a year ago, what I'm trying to say is, I've changed. I can do this now. You think you can? Big difference. Hey, I thought you were going to be angry. I wasn't expecting all of this. What, that might actually have feelings? No, don't be stupid. Well, that's what you think of me, innit? Not denying it, then. Lose the self-pity, Keane. Hey, if we are arguing now, what do you think we're going to be like with two hours sleep of a night? It's not going to be like that forever. Long enough. And it doesn't get any easier. Well, it can't be all bad, because you wouldn't have had three. I was young, and 20-odd years makes a hell of a difference. We don't have to decide yet. Seems you already have. No, don't be silly, love. I don't expect you to come all the way home. Adam's having a wheel of a time anyway. Right, I'll be off. Then you can stop avoiding me if it's OK. OK, babe. Will you, will you give my love to Hannah too? All right, sweetheart. Speak to you later. Bye. Love you. Well, you're not drinking on your own kids 21st, so you change your mind then. <sighs> Not now and not here. So you're thinking about the baby more than you are the kid you've already got? You know, I'm, I'm just trying to keep a clear head. I need to with you being like this. Being like what? It'd be managed to let me know if you're going to go through with it. It's not your decision. It's mine. Don't worry, you'll be the second to know. <laughs> What's over when I've run into you? I'm busy. You can't keep blanking me. I've told you how it is. That's all you need to know. Well, not from where I'm standing. Well, maybe I don't care about your opinion right now. Back again? I'm used to people trying to get rid of me. Well, maybe it's time you start to ask yourself why. Well, I thought if I keep turning up, you can't ignore me forever. You'd be surprised. I've got plenty to keep me busy. I've got a business to run. I can wipe. Well, you'll be wasting your time, because it's not going to happen. I don't have to consult you with what I do with my life, so you may as well go home. I'm going nowhere. Why don't you spend a couple of minutes listening to what I've got to say? I've got tomorrow's deliveries to sort. Still here? So you're not going to get rid of me that easy. My dad seems to think it's not really about the baby. It's about me. You don't think you can trust me? Kidnap, extortion, grievous bodily harm. These are hardly things to give a girl confidence. I've kept on the straight and narrow the whole time we've been together. Pretty much. What, and you think that deserves a medal? Well, I was hoping it might mean you'd at least listen to me. Oh. I thought we agreed you were the strong silent type. It takes two to make a baby. I am part of this. Anyway, you can't make a decision to get rid of it just yet. Otherwise, you wouldn't have spoken to my dad. OK. So maybe I should have talked to you sooner. But we still need to set a few ground rules. Yes, you were there at the start, but I'm the one that would be having the baby. I'm the one whose life would be turned upside down. What, and what I feel doesn't matter? Well, of course it does. But in the end, it's going to be my decision, and if you can't accept that, then there's no point in us even talking. Well, I just want you to hear me out. After that, whatever you decide, I will go along with it. 